Hey and welcome to another tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this Walt Disney logo inside Microsoft Word. So the left one is an image, the right one is our creation inside Microsoft Word. So let's get started. I will start it in black document. I already have this logo in here, but I will open the former ribbon and select color drop down and change the colors to this light gray because we don't want this to get in our way. So it's a little bit of faded. I will zoom in as much as I can just so I can see the entire castle like this. And I will start uh, tracing the outline of the castle using the custom shape tool, which is called Freeform in Microsoft Word. So I'll insert shapes being this Freeform tool. And I will simply click on the vertices where I want to add a new vertex like this. I don't care about the small flags. I don't care about those uh, lines which are going over the castle. I just want to somehow trace the outline of the castle as fast as I can. You know, it's a little bit harder when you have to when you cannot zoom in during the creation, it takes some time, but you should know that uh, once I draw this, once I add all those points in there, I should still be able to edit the position of those points so I don't have to be that much of a precise. So I'll try to somehow do it in a faster pace than usual, just so it doesn't take forever. Then I will right click and select format shape and I will probably increase the transparency for this one so I can see it better and I will set the line to no line just so I can see where it uh, starts and where it ends and now the task is to right click on the shape and select edit points and make sure that all those points are somehow being aligned so I can see this one is a little bit off this one is off you know a lot of those small tweaks I would spend like maybe 10 or 15 minutes tweaking this shape to perfection but just because I don't want you to St steal your time I will you know there is seems like that there is one point missing in here so in the case the point is missing I can probably press some key on my keyboard which would be like the control key which will add a new point which is exactly what I want so if, if a point is missing I can edit it for sure if a point is being there which shouldn't be there I can delete it in the same way I will just hover, hover over the point pressing the uh, control key and just get rid of this point but seems like I have uh, all the points which I need so I don't need to remove any point I will just tweak the position of some of those probably add one point here because there should be a little bit of this I don't care if it doesn't end with the last you know where it should end but maybe I, I should care maybe I don't then I, that way I don't have to overlay anything over this. Okay, that that seems like a fine shape. Maybe then one more point here. Again, I want to I don't want to spend ten or fifteen minutes on this shape, so I'm pretty happy with the result as it is. So I will continue with the flag. So I'll insert a new shape being the triangle, and I will draw it like this. Set the line, which is uh, hopefully in here, outline to no outline, and I will rotate it by ninety degrees holding my shift, shift key on my keyboard and for those small shapes you may notice there is this move symbol up here so it's easier to just you know move it if it's really really small once it gets small you will see it I don't see it right now because it's considered to be a big so no problem here so I will copy paste it and move it to the right spots I need a few more flags in here so one more here one more for the like the upper castle uh, you know roof one more here and one more here and and we will have a lot of different shapes so it may be a good idea to show the selection pane so i will show the selection pane i will select all those triangles and those are the flex so i will group them together select the group and i will probably rename it to flex usually i don't name my object but uh, this time i will make an exception because with so many objects it will be easier for us to make sure everything is on the right spot then I will draw a new line so I'll insert a new insert shape a new line and I will hold the shift key while I'm drawing just so it's a straight line and uh, here is one a tip when you want to select the line usually it's pretty hard but for now we can probably set the line width to some very high value and if we set the also the transparency a little bit transparency it will be easier for us to select and also to position it on the right spots and later on we will change the width anyways because as you can see the line width are kind of changing going from very uh, you know subtle lines on top to uh, bolder lines on the bottom of the castle so what I will do is I will right click and open the format shape properties and I will zoom in a little bit more and I may hide our 
sh you know castle shape and for each uh, line i will change of you know width so maybe five or maybe four maybe four and a half like a compromise between those two numbers this will be like a four and you can see that we will be you know changing the line width to be even s smaller and smaller as we go to the top so three for this one maybe two for this one i may change the position a little bit this one could be maybe two as well so maybe the previous one could be like maybe i don't know two and a quarter so two is this one this one should be maybe like you know two or maybe even less and the top one which i believe is the last one or not the last one so this may be like one and a half points or one and or two points whatever and this last one could be maybe only one point okay this seems about right again we have a lot of symbols so what i will do is i will select all those lines with the control key on my keyboard i will group those together and i will rename this to lines just so it's you know somehow makes sense what what is what is what and what's missing we are missing this like the entrance entrance so i will insert a new shape and this time i believe i will use this maybe this uh, flow chart delay which i will you know just rotate by 90 degrees holding the shift kill my keyboard this will be entrance and i need this uh you know like a semicircle on top so i'll insert a new shape being the arc like this i will hide the lines and this one i will increase the size or the width of the arc and i will also change it in a way that i can see more of the circle so it will be easier for me to set the right size you know i have a lot of things open in here so i'll probably show not show the selection uh, sorry the format ribbon so i have more space if you take a closer look at the image you can see that the line is kind of like a below the cast and below the text so we would either have to add the outline for the cast and for the text or we can what we can probably do is we can probably use a few versions or few copies of the same line and just you know copy paste it to the same spot and move the yellow handles just so it goes only between the text and the and the castle and this one should go only inside the letter w like this okay so those are the arcs and really the only missing part is the text and the easy and it's simple because uh, there is a font called Valtograph, which i believe i was using in my one of my previous tutorials as well so if i select uh, if i insert a new text box and just type in Walt Disney I can use this font uh, Voltograph and you know without any problems or uh, right away I have a nice looking uh, same looking font so I have to just uh, make this much bigger for the shape set the fill to no fill and outline to no outline and set the right size seems like this is small so I may increase this to maybe like 90 maybe 90 is too much maybe 85 that seems about right okay so i will start uh, i'll show i will hide the picture actually and i will start by you know showing the individual parts and setting the properties which is the outline and fill so i will show those right click and select the format shape and this one should be black without any transparency then we have the flex which should be uh, black as well so solid fill black the lines should be all white but they shouldn't be over the flex so i will move this below the flex and of course no transparency for the lines the entrance should have no line and be in a white color and all the arcs should be black so all the arcs should be black and the text is black already but there should be an outline around the text just so it's not intersecting with the castle itself so i copy paste this text one more time and for the bottom copy i will set the line to solid line not for the fill not for the shape but for the text i will set the outline to solid line being the let's let's call it green for now so i can see it maybe five points that that seems about right so five points and i will change the color to white and that's that's basically it i will select all our objects so flags lines entrance and the castle i will group everything together i will hide this uh, format ribbon or format pane show the picture i will move it next to each other so i can see if it kind of looks similar and it seems to me that uh, we've done a pretty good job we have a nice looking walt disney logo done in microsoft word under 10 minutes 
So that's it. Thanks for watching.